So as you can see here, I'm doing a time lapse of a workout here. And I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this clip coming up. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my page and enjoy. Sloan's Fitness and Personal Training. Uh, my name is Michael and I uh, just got a little informational tip coming up here, workout tips, so uh, enjoy the clip and uh, stay after the workout and uh, enjoy a little keto talk here uh, from me, myself, uh, at Sloan's Fitness, guys. Thanks very Let's much. Go guys. right here. Took me a little rest. Uh, and uh, you want to make sure your back is flat and uh, that you're not fully locking out at the end. And uh, that's one way to do it. And uh, I'm not a power lifter, so... I'm not, you know, arching my back, so I have no reason to arch my back. So here we go, 155 here. Make sure you're breathing throughout the whole motion. Ten reps there. Side ladder raises, breathe all the way through. Oh yeah. Then doing these tens here, going into partials at the end of the movement. fitness and uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about keto here and uh, how it's you know impacted and changed everything about uh, how I've been doing things uh, I've been on keto slash uh, low carb for five weeks now today makes five weeks and uh, I'm very excited uh, about it and uh, so uh, I'm gonna talk about my body fat percentage which are being linked in the card above so go check it out if you want to know about body fat percentage, my body fat percentage, so uh, and weight. So I've been, you know, implementing, you know, a lot of eggs. Uh, I've been doing a lot of eggs, uh, cream cheese, sour cream. Um, I've been doing uh, beef, a lot of beef, meal plan, and uh, been doing burgers, ranch. Uh, I've tried this uh, bacon flavored ranch that has a little bit of bacon in it from Walmart and it's actually really really good. I'm a really big fan of uh, Kroger, Kroger beef because the Walmart beef just doesn't cut it for me I guess. I think the Walmart's a little or the Kroger's a little bit fresher and uh, I do do that and sometimes I go to Sam's Club and get my cream cheese and sour cream but uh, that's kind of what I've been using there meals and you know I do salads I do broccoli uh, spinach is my go-to though I do a lot of spinach um, and onions lettuce tomato always do that and that's kind of you know what I've been you know having in my meal plan which I've been doing the potassium plus and the, uh, one of the multivitamins about to re uh, introduce uh, creatine into my into my plan also and hopefully that you know gives me a little bit more jumping strength which at first I did lose strength I felt that I lost some strength on this uh, keto slash high fat and uh, low carb but um, I've been excited because uh, my strength's been coming up so very excited about that and you can see my little mini workout that I done in previous because I'm just going to post a video and this is going to be after so hopefully you enjoyed the workout and it was a home home base workout so and it had a little informational tips there so hopefully you enjoy that footage there and guys thanks very much for watching and I hope hope this was helpful to anybody out there that wants to get on keto or 
thinking about keto. And just remember, it's um, 75 of your total calories coming from fat, 20% coming from protein, and 5% coming from carbohydrates. Sometimes some people manipulate that a bunch to uh, get more protein, which is just, you know, because protein can turn into glucose and uh, use glucose as fuel instead of the keto keystones as fuel. So you kind of want to watch how much protein that you're uh, ingesting. So you just have to play with it there and see where you fall and see if you can go back into ketosis.